But my issue was the water in that. I said, I told him at the beginning, I said, I said, water's more important than any of your gas. And we don't get no free gas or nothing. So we, we, we don't benefit, you know, what money they, we do get from a royalty check. That should be on and above what I made off the farm. And then I had a little business. I'd sell a couple hundred, 200, 300 bales of hay. If I watched what I did, I could sell some, and I had that as an income mm-hmm. on a business. I had yeah. a little business, you know. If I had some hay that got wet or something, I could bail it, and they'd buy it for mulch, but it was still good hay, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I lost that business. I had them for about four years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I even bought some hay a couple times. A couple guys had some hay out, out by home. I bought it for a dollar a bale, and them guys would give me four dollars a bale for it. But I knew it was good hay, and they said, "Yeah, we just want to get it off the field because some of them guys you can't find nobody to help you on a farm no yeah. more. You know, nobody wants to farm anymore now. You know, but we still do it now. My oldest son and my youngest son. My youngest son, he don't live at home. He was where they put that well in the bottom hay field. We was going to give him that acre of property in that, and he was going to put a trailer there, and then." He was going to put a sand mound there, and he was going to run the water. We was going to run the water from our original well down to his house for drinking water and that. Well, that's where they put the well right there. They put a well right where we was going to put a trailer at. You know, we was going to give him like a half acre of property. That idea went out the door. You know, well, where did he move to? Bentleyville. Okay. You know, it's oh, about six, seven, about six miles from there. Home. How old are your two sons? The oldest one, he's thirty nine, and Todd's thirty three. 34 now. Um, but they both help. When we're doing hay, they come out. They're yeah. the only two. Down. You can't get nobody else to do it. Nobody wants to pick up bills of hay. You know? yeah. That's work. That's like work, you know. You know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, those are high school jobs yeah. over the summer. Yeah, yeah, well, they were used to, the when fall, they was in yeah, school, mm-hmm. we used to get four or five kids down there, uh-huh. and we'd give them $30, $40 a day, come out just to throw hay around. It was cash, you know. You gave them cash, they was happy, you yeah, know. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you can't get nobody to do it anymore, you know. I think the last time there was a couple kids come up, Kathy gave them, my wife Kathy, she gave them like 50 bucks for being there each day. You know, so that's, that was four or five kids, you know. Mm-hmm. That's a couple hundred dollars, you know. But, hey, they was happy. She'd give them the cash, and they was happy, you know. Oh, yeah. Hey, call us again, you know. <laughs> call right. us again, you know. Mm-hmm. But you can't get nobody to do it anymore, you know. So that's why it's just just us. We do it ourselves, and that you can't get nobody to work anymore, because that, yeah. that's hard work. You know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's not easy, you know. Uh-huh. Terry, uh, you and Ron seem like you're pretty out in the open, yeah. uh, about talking with the community and talking with your neighbors about this stuff. Have you noticed that any of uh, any of your neighbors feel secluded? At first, did you feel secluded? Did you feel threatened by the gas company that if you talk to anybody? Um, well, the neighbors, a couple of the neighbors have some gas wells, but they don't care because the one don't have no, he don't have no animals. The other one has animals up there, but he said the other day I seen him. He said, "Well, I'm getting rid of the cattle." He says. My boy can't help me no more because he had a stroke or something. And he said, he ain't going to help me. He said, so I'm going to get rid of the cattle. But nobody wants to get involved. They don't care, you know. Mm-hmm. And you say anything to them, and they know I lost cattle on that because some of the other people said, hey, yeah, he lost cattle because of these wells because of the water and that, you know. But a lot of them has cisterns and that, you know. And then I think there's, I think there's about three people up along the road there that get drinking water. They yeah. pay for drinking water and that, you know. But I don't know why, you know, they never said why and that, you know, they won't tell you things, you know. Oh, we, we just don't bother nobody. We're up here by ourselves, mm-hmm. and we just don't bother nobody and that, you know. Some of them neighbors, I don't even know their their real names. <laughs> you know, I don't even know the, a couple of the people, I don't even know their names and that. If we could finish up with just a couple of general questions. Yeah, okay. I'm asking okay. everybody. Um, you mind stating your full name? Terry Greenwood, uh, West Pike Run. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you've been a house owner since 1988, right? Yeah. Yes. And in the area for most of your life. Yeah. Are there any other household members in your house? Yeah, my oldest son lives at home. Oldest yeah. son lives yeah. at home? And do you have a wife? Lives yeah, yeah, home? she lives at home. Yeah, she's work. she works every day. She works at the post office. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I said. When they come in, they says, well, it's money, it's money. I says, hey, I drove truck. We, yeah. I, when we bought that place, she just got a job in the post office and that. So, well, she was still part-time. She was just getting ready to get hired full-time. And I drove truck. So, we didn't need, we did okay, you know. And I said, when they come out and said about gas, they said, oh, get rid of your cattle. That's what that one Jeff Grove diminished. Get rid of your cattle. You don't need them. You'll get rich off the gas wells. I said, I'm not rich. I'm not poor. I said, I don't need your gas wells on my property. I said, we're farming. Mm-hmm. You know, and it put a big effect on us because we didn't need that extra money in that. You know, we was doing fine. We was, the farm was nice. 
When we bought it, the, the bank says, oh, 30 years. I said, no, 20 years, because mm -hmm. I was 40 years old at the time. Yeah. I says, I don't want to go past 60 years old. So we bought it, bought it with 20 years, and, and I said, we're going to pay it off. Quick, We paid it off in 15 years, mm -hmm. you know. So, because I hustled and she was doing good, we did good. We kept paying on it and paid it off in fifteen years. But the bank wanted—it was a Washington bank up here in Washington, PA. They says thirty years. I said no. I said twenty years. Yeah, you know, right. And we did fifteen years. Was, so we hustled on it, and that, and we we put a lot of time back into the farm, and that, you know, it, it was run down a lot. You know, we put a lot back into it, and that because she was working, I was working. And we did this, did that. I'll show you some pictures, and that. You know, I got some pictures of the, some of the stuff, and that. You know, yeah, that'd be great. Did. Yeah, we appreciate that. But yeah, the house, it's an older stone farmhouse and that, but we fixed this and built another building and mm -hmm. put a new roof on a tractor shed and, you know, we put a lot back into it, you know, we didn't neglect it, we just, it was neglected and we did a lot to it, you know. I retired when I was 60 from truck driving, I was done. And then we had the farm in good shape and, because my wife wanted to retire, then all this come up. Mm -hmm. So, she can't retire yet because... You know what happened till we get this all straightened out, you know, and it put a hurt on because she wanted to retire. She's she's sixty one now, and she wanted to retire too. You know, so we could do things. Because my old son, we said, hey, we're leaving the farm to Yun's too, and that, you know, and mm -hmm. you know, and that's what they was going to do. They was going to keep. They're still want to run the farm, but with no water and this and that, you know, I got some big issues right now. Yeah, you know, because you know, we wanted to retire. Cause she, bought, she bought me a new motorcycle for my 60th birthday. All right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we had plans for what we was going to do. And then they come in and like, oh, hey, you, you ain't got no plans no more. You know, they just ruined our lifestyle. And, you know, made things hard. Yeah, she bought me a new Harley for my 60th birthday. Because right. she, she wanted to retire too right at 60. It would have been okay, you know, because we, we're, 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 we did fine, you know. Changed our lifestyle and it's hard. And I can't start over again. Because I did this at 40, started this at 40. We had the farm done. In 60, it was all good shape. Everything was done. All the equipment's in pretty decent shape, and the boys know what to do. Just ruined our life. You know? yeah. Yeah. And they, they don't care about it. You know? And it's hard. Well, Terry, thanks a lot for talking okay. with me. Okay. Okay. I get to talk to you again sometime here. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay.